Dear Heavenly Father, Love is your greatest gift you've given to the world. And the love between a man and a woman which matures into marriage is one of your most beautiful types of love. And today, we celebrate that love. May your blessing be on this wedding service. God, protect and be with Kenneth and Megan in their marriage. Surround them with your love, now and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I can be a man, be big and tough for you, darling, that I won't. Kenneth and Megan, you're making a very serious and important decision today in choosing to marry each other. By saying I do, you're entering a sacred covenant. You're making a promise to God and a lifelong commitment to each other that you'll be a constant friend, a faithful partner in life, and each other's one true love. The quality of your marriage will reflect what you're putting to nurture in your marriage. You have the opportunity to go forward from this point to create a faithful, kind, and tender relationship. And it's up to you to keep this blessing flowing each day of your lives together. If you want to know how to best love each other, you need to seek God. For God is love, and if you know God, you know love. I would learn to move mountains, now I learn to part the sea. Whatever you want, whatever you need. You're the light in the tunnel when I'm feeling gray. You're the sun peeking through on that cold. Winter day, and if I could change a thing, you know, nothing would be changed. Cause I love you so, and I'm glad you came. Inasmuch as you both can truly assume this wedding covenant before God, as a minister of the gospel, and by the authority of the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Kenneth, you may not fish love you. Proud to announce the new Louis, Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth and Megan Lenore. Oh, I got holes in my shoes and I got dirt on my hands. But I'll take care of you better than any other man. I'll hold you until we all go. Cause you my sweet, oh you save my soul